Well, just this week, Governor Hocum named the state's first Chief Equity, Inclusion, and Opportunity Officer. And he selected Kara Herring for the position that he created in response to this summer social justice movement. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan, she is looking at her background, her history and experience here, as well as what she will be doing in that office. Loud cries for change over the summer brought Governor Eric Holcomb to make this declaration. I called my entire cabinet together and shared my commitment to acknowledge past shortcomings and do something about it, no matter how hard or raw or uncomfortable it might be. That meant hiring a chief equity, inclusion and opportunity officer. That person will be in charge of these efforts and removing any barriers within state agencies. Kara Herring has accepted the new role. At the University of Notre Dame, she served as the Director of Institutional Equity and Title IX Coordinator. Senate Minority Leader Greg Taylor spoke on behalf of the Indiana Black Legislative Caucus, saying he thinks this hire is a good first step. I think that it's exciting if the uh, position is allowed to do what I think the position could do. He doesn't want Herring's work to stop with state agencies. He wants state policy inspired from her efforts. Without the policies to back up the diversification that the governor is putting in place, Indiana will continue to lag the rest of the country in attracting some of the best and brightest minds and Hoosiers who want to live in a diverse community. Herring will report to Governor Eric Holcomb, and funding for her position comes from the Centerpoint Energy Foundation's initial $250,000 contribution. That will not only fund these efforts, but other related initiatives expected in 2021. Yes, great. I'm, I'm so happy that we got seed money to start it. But the question that I will have and what I will continue to have is how do we fund that going forward? Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News.